Happy Sunday. Happy Thanksgiving Sunday. Hopefully you got some time off if you live here in the U.S. Um, I've had a lot of client work to do, some personal stuff going on, and it's been a great time for me. <clears throat> Happy Sunday. Happy Thanksgiving Sunday. Uh, hopefully you've gotten some downtime, a couple of days of rest. I love this long weekend. It fe always feels like it comes at the perfect time for me. Um, I've been getting after it pretty hard uh, with some client stuff as well as with some personal stuff and thinking about my business in 2024. Uh, it's been a nice little breather here. So I wanted to record this video, um, not with a lot of sales heavy stuff, because I've been thinking a lot about some sales heavy stuff, uh, particularly as it relates to prospecting and some new insights that I have that are going to help you, especially in the face of all this privacy stuff regarding email and the limitations and restrictions or the enforcement uh, now that Google and Yahoo are going to do around spam in inboxes. Credibility, relevance, and personalization have never been worth more than they ha than they, they are uh, right now. So I've got a lot of stuff to talk to um, in the next couple of weeks or talk about or write about in the next couple of weeks. But what I want to talk about today is something in pop culture and music, actually, that relates very closely to what I've been writing, speaking, and t uh, you know uh, thinking about uh, over the last year or so, this concept called Sell Like You. And there is, you, you never sell better than when you sell like you because you can free your mind. When you trust yourself, when you trust your instincts and how they will lead your skills and your tactics, great things happen. But the article that I saw a couple of, uh, just a few days ago, uh, was really interesting. And I will give you a little bit of context here. Um, a couple of weeks ago, you may, have so, you may have seen that I took my son, he's 12, to his first two concerts. We saw Metallica and had a great weekend. Um, but that flashes me back to my first two concerts uh, when I was 15. Uh, April 15th, 1995, I saw Van Halen play at the Palace of Auburn Hills, and it blew my mind. It was great. I knew live music was for me when I saw that show. I saw him later again that summer. But if you've heard, if you're a fan like I am, you may have heard that Sammy Hagar and Michael Anthony are going back out on the road in 2024, and they're playing a lot of old Van Halen stuff. I don't know what leads to this. I don't know what changed. Uh, Eddie's passing a couple of years ago probably had something to do with it, but they're going back out on the road and they went on Howard Stern or someplace and, and they announced this tour. And Joe Satriani is one of the greatest guitar players that has ever walked this earth. He has actually taught several students who have grown up to be on these greatest guitar players in the world, you know, lists that the magazines put out there. And so here's someone who is as accomplished as 99.9% .9 of the musicians out there in the world. And on Stern, he struggled to play some Van Halen stuff. Not because it was too technical, he's got all the technical expertise in the world, but because, and he mentioned this in an article that I read later this, uh, or, well, just this past week, he's trapped inside his head trying to figure out how to play like Eddie. And I want you to think about the talent, the accomplishments, this professional musician has done everything that you can do. But then when he tries to be someone else, he falters. He falls flat. He embarrasses himself. And in this article, and I'm going to link to down below, um, he talks about how it, he can't get out of his head because he approaches things so much differently than Eddie did. And that's what made them both great. But when you try to step out of your own body, when you try to step out of your own instincts, when you try to do something that, hey, maybe it just wasn't meant for him to do, things go haywire. Things go awry. And I want you to think about that as it relates to your, your sales efforts, your business efforts, your whatever it is that you're doing. You've got this voice in the back of your head. You've got this feeling in your belly that teaches you, that shows you, that instructs you, that leads you, encourages you to do something a certain way, a way you know in your soul, if you will, is the right way to do it. But then when you get too cerebral and you try to go do it a different way because that's how someone else did it to all this fanfare and success, what happens? You, you, you trip, you fall, you stumble. You don't get the result that you're looking for and then you feel bad about it. I've talked about this before as it relates to the cycle, the vicious cycle of doubt, mediocrity, and shame. And Joe Satriani has gone from a place of belief 
success and integrity, and he has flipped that cycle the wrong way. And it has taken him in, you know, really down the wrong path. Now, is he gonna be great on this tour? Yes. Is he going to figure it out? Yes, but I promise you what will solve things for him in his own mind is when he says, I am going to pay tribute to Eddie Van Halen the way I can pay tribute to Eddie Van Halen because nobody's Eddie. Nobody is Eddie and no one ever will be. And that's the way it should be. But when, he, when someone else tries to be Eddie, they inevitably fall short. Nobody wants that. So I want you to think about the way you're approaching your efforts. I want you to think about the way you approach your business, the way you sell. And I want you to start trusting that voice in the back of your head. I want you to start trusting that feeling in your belly because the examples are out there all over the place. The more you try to do it like somebody else, the more mediocre your results will be. Really looking forward to sharing some more insights with you over the next couple of weeks. I hope you got a good break. I hope you're ready to lean into the last five or six weeks of this year. And I'll talk to you soon.